Riots marred the summer concert season in Toronto last year. At Ontario Place, there were two separate incidents in the space of a week. One at a concert featuring Gatto and Nash the Slash, the second at a teenage head show in early June. The police had rocks and bottles thrown at them. Their cars were smashed and several streetcars were damaged. There were 42 arrests made. Uh, possibly some of these arrests were made by the OPP, but 42 prisoners were brought to 14 Division. They were charged with offenses under the Liquor Control Act, the Narcotics uh, Control Act, and also obstruct and assault and cause disturbance. It started in the early evening when late arriving fans for the Teenage Head concert found the Ontario Place gates closed. Apparently officials felt the forum was full and no more people should be admitted. Hundreds of additional police were alerted and at one point over 1,500 fans were involved in fights with police. The Ontario government who runs Ontario Place was quick to react. There will be no rock, rock concerts until the board has had an opportunity to meet and review the situation to determine ways Ontario Place can provide entertainment appealing to a younger age group, but more suitable to the open character of the forum. Politicians have to worry about voters, some of whom share the opinions of the Toronto Sun, who published an editorial relating to the incident on June 4th. It stated in part that, no doubt some will say that cancelling the rock season is censorship, rape of freedom, fascism, etc. Hell, they shouldn't have been scheduled in the first place. Just as abstract painting isn't art, but at best design, so most rock, note the qualifier, isn't music, but raucous noise. The most appropriate setting for future rock concerts is the zoo, if the Humane Society will allow it. However reactionary that may be, no one will dispute the fact that the fans were in the wrong. You don't have to be a music lover to do that. You're just an asshole. However serious the Ontario Place riots were, the bad man of rock and roll in Toronto last year turned out to be Alice Cooper. His no-show at the CNE August 19th caused the worst riot in Toronto rock and roll history. We were right up front between the crowd barrier and the stage waiting to see Alice Cooper. When it was announced he wasn't going to show, things really got crazy. I am very sorry. After the riot was finally over, there had been 31 arrests, 12 people hospitalized, $25,000 damage to CNE property, and a rock concert the next day featuring Teenage Head had to be cancelled.